Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again and welcome to my channel. My name is Lena and here in Lena Lore I like to talk about all things beauty. Today I wanted to review some new brushes that I got from Beautylish.com. I got Unit's Orange Series brushes here. I don't know much about uh, this brand units. I just know uh, this brand, uh, you know, makes really good affordable synthetic brushes. And uh, this might be just Beautylish.com exclusive because I didn't find any uh, separate website or anything like that. Anyway, a while ago I ordered uh, some brushes uh, from Beautylish.com, a different types of units brush, and they were really nice. So when this orange collection became available, of course, I got intrigued and had to order uh, some. I, I didn't uh, order the whole set, but I, I did order a bunch. So today I wanted to use them while I'm getting ready uh, and uh, create this makeup look and uh, show them in action. So I wanted to create some orange themed makeup because uh, these are orange blushes. So if you're interested uh, in this makeup look and how these brushes perform, please keep on watching. I already have my base makeup and eyebrows done and today I used Chanel Love Edge Healthy Glow Foundation in the shade BD01. And I use the uh, foundation brush from the series, uh, it looks like this. It's a smaller, denser type of foundation brush, number is 304. It's really nice, it surprisingly acts like um, natural goat hair brushes. It absorbs quite a bit of product, but does a great job applying makeup evenly on the skin. It's easy to wash, and I think it will be also great uh, for applying cream blushes or a cream contouring product and I don't own anything like this so I'm really happy to have this in my collection. And of course I set my foundation using this uh, favorite loose powder from Decorte and for the application I use this large fluffy uh, bronzer brush in the collection. It's number 301. It is really lovely, amazing brush. I love this brush. I already talked about this brush in my previous video uh, where I talked about my absolute favorites and staples and this one really looks and feels and performs like a higher end brush. I, I couldn't be happier with uh, this brush. Like It feels so nice. Such a pleasure. Love it. So as I said in the beginning of this video, I wanted to create a makeup look with an orange theme. And I have to say it's such a challenge for me because when it comes to makeup colors, orange is the color that I feel least comfortable with. But it's a challenge, so uh, hopefully we'll make it work today. And uh, when it comes to orange eyeshadow, I couldn't think of anything more orange than this eyeshadow quad. It's Chanel Bouquet Anglais, and this was uh, originally a part of the uh, Chanel's spring collection this year. But this quad, and there was another quad in the collection, but they did not make it to the U.S. And it broke everybody's heart, uh, including mine. I was devastated, and I had to order this from overseas, of course. And, uh, well, look at these colors. Uh, it's just gorgeous. I adore these colors absolutely beautiful but they don't look great on me <laughs> so so i am going to uh try and make this colors work for me uh, today so uh you know uh root for me so i'm going to use this tapered brush it's number 307 really long uh beautiful tapered uh brush. So I'm going to uh, go into this uh, shimmery amber shade here and apply this color all over my lids. Picks up the color quite nicely. Oh, it does a really great job placing the color very evenly. Feels super soft on my lids. The other side. A 
lovely. Next, I'm going to use this flat eyeshadow brush. It's number 308. And go into that uh, ambery brown shade here. It's a satin finish, and I am going to pack that color, um, you know, on my lid space to smoke it out. This brush is also very nice. I can't say anything bad about these brushes. This one is under $10. Incredible quality for the price if you ask me. There's a really nice job packing the colors on my lids as you see. Quickly doing the same thing. And the application is um, quite precise, although this brush, I have to say it's on the larger side, very impressive. I'm going to bring that color a little bit downwards and connect it a little bit here. Okay, very nice. Next, I'm going to use this pencil brush, number 310, and go into the darkest matte brown and define the outer Vs and line the under uh, lash lines. I have to say, this pencil brush might be working better for me then Sonia G Pencil Pro, there I said it. Mm. It's really nice. See how orange these colors on me? Wow. Next I'm going to use this crease brush number 309 and go into that shimmery amber shade one more time and blend the crease uh, lines, crease areas. Add some more shimmers. I love this crease brush too. I mean, I have an uh, equal number of uh, nice natural brushes and synthetic brushes, but, uh, you know, synthetic brushes, they have, uh, you know, their own charm, you know, it's easy to take care of and then inexpensive, uh, generally speaking, but they usually feel like synthetic brushes, you know, but this one actually feels very close to, you know, some of my natural brushes there I say and using the same uh, flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into that lighter shade but I am going to use the, uh, the other side and pack that color in the center of my lids, adding a little bit of light here. Then maybe brighten my inner corner just a little bit. And today I want to use a navy eyeliner. Uh, I want to make good contrast, uh, you know, 
between the orange color and navy color and since I'm wearing blue contacts and blue earrings and uh, you know this dress has some blue in it too so just go matchy matchy today so I am going to use my Chanel Still A You waterproof eyeliner in the shade marine it's the number 30 I've been enjoying this uh, dark navy eyeliner with subtle shimmer a lot lately so I'm just gonna use this both on uh, my lower lash lines and upper lash lines starting from the lower lash lines it's really easy to control I like subtle lines along my lower lash lines and uh, stronger lines on the upper so I'm gonna wing it up a little bit this will guide me you know how much wing I'm gonna draw later on and starting from the center of my eyes bring it upward a little bit wing it And add a little bit more color. It's more like lazy tight lining that I'm doing. Well, sorry about the street noise. There is a fire station four blocks down from my place, and sometimes. Um, it's out of my control so grabbing this pencil brush one more time and I am going to go into that you know satin uh, brick shade one more time and then blend that lower lash lines a little bit more make it softer it looks still blue but it's blended Alright, uh, I am going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. Okay, I'm back. Today I used my Chanel Le Volume du Chanel Waterproof Mascara. I can't say this is my favorite mascara because despite being a waterproof mascara, it kind of uncurls. It doesn't really hold my curls, although I always use my eyelash colors and then it just, shame on you. I. <laughs> I, I won't be repurchasing this, uh, you know, mascara. It does give me a little bit of volume, it's alright, but uh, uh, to me, uh, it's not worth it. So, but I'm just using this mascara to use it up, and then since we're using mostly Chanel makeup, so there's that. So, uh, that's my eye makeup, and let's move on to the blush. On my cheeks, I'm going to use the blush highlighter duo from that spring collection that I mentioned. Remember this one? So gorgeous, isn't it? I love this duo uh, when it first came out, but uh, shame on me, I kind of forgot that I have this. Well, <laughs> you know, including myself, we're quite busy chasing uh, the new stuff, and then once we acquire them, we take the pictures and share them on Instagram or something, then forget about them and start chasing the next new things. At least that's, uh, you know, usually how it goes, uh, you know, with uh, new collections and stuff. So anyway, uh, for these colors, I'm going to use this highlighter brush from the orange collection, the unit brush. It's number 305. And uh, I think I can use this for uh, both blush and highlighter. It's really delicate, kind of like a detail uh, brush. Very flexible too. Going into that beautiful coral color, it's a big gelé formula, uh, very nice. I don't know, for some reason, whenever I uh, wear orangey eye makeup, I look very pale, so um, this blush really helps. 
and the highlighter shade uh, that's not very light it's more like a blush topper it has softer texture so I'm gonna add this color on top of the blush and bring it upward it's not a color that I would put you know on my nose for example it's more like blush highlighter exactly So that's the blush. For my lip color, I chose an orange red uh, lip color from Chanel. It's Rouge Coco number no. 417 Coco. It's a very beautiful color. It has a little bit of everything a uh, red, orange, a little bit of pink, and formulation is great. And the base is not uh, white, it's clear base. So it kind of lets uh, your natural lip color uh, peek through which makes it even more beautiful i think and uh you know the formulation is a classic very hydrating moisturizing comfortable on the lips i love this lipstick so let me just apply this color So this is the finished look and I really hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and this orange themed makeup look that I created today. And I still can't say this is the best color on me but this was definitely experimental and fun and I actually like the way it uh, turned out. It's harmonious and you know I, I don't feel as awkward as before. I like it. <laughs> and uh, I love uh, these units uh, brush not sponsored i paid uh you know for these with my own money and i am quite surprised uh, by the quality of these brushes and i would highly recommend these brushes to anybody who's looking for uh, synthetic brushes or uh, budget-friendly brushes uh, that perform these definitely perform i can tell you right now and um you know, uh, I wouldn't dare to say I still prefer my natural uh, brushes like Sonia G brushes or Chikahoto brushes that I have, but uh, these are uh, definitely up there and uh, price point, uh, it, there is no comparison. So I'll be buying more of these brushes and I'll look more into the brand, what they offer uh, in the future. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in again and staying with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!